Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan from GFX Sport. Uh, lately, I have not been doing uh, much voiceover tutorials because I've been uh, trying to get around the fact that it's, it gets a bit noisy around here and it's just hard to do that. And I was just lazy returning my headsets, my AX360 headsets, which I used last time to make all my tutorials with. Um, now I, I'm pretty sure I cannot return them. Uh, I actually recommend not buying those piece of shit headphones, man. Uh, so yeah, expect all the next uh, new tutorials from me to be done with voiceovers. Uh, I'll just have to fit them in. Uh, they might not be as long as the older ones that are, that are there right now, but at least I'll still be showing you pretty much the basics and all the other stuff that you guys really need to know. Um, like for example, today we're going to learn to take this photo and uh, manipulate it into a nice chilling photo, which should take a, pretty much like a couple minutes here. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get along with the tutorial now. Um, first, you want to duplicate the layer, and we're gonna change this uh, hue slash saturation. We're gonna press Control U, and just change the color around a bit. Uh, you want to make it a little bit blue. So we're gonna go like 218, 33, or 35, sure, and four. That looks great. All right, so now we got that, and we want to go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur, and just add a little bit of blur here. Uh, Sure, let's go 2.8. And so pretty much you got that right now. Um, if you go to overlay right now, it's actually going to make the photo look pretty sweet. Like this is, it, it kind of makes it almost look emo. Uh, but we want to make it a little bit more blue here. So we want to duplicate the layer after we have overlay set to it up here on the blending mode. And see, as you see, it, it darkens a little bit more and adds a more chill factor to it. But what we want to do is press Control U again and go to colorize and go through for a little, little bit of a brighter, uh, brighter blue here and uh, drag the saturation up. And as you see, it's, it's starting to add that nice blue to it, kind of chilling it out. And then uh, you can also like keep duplicating the layers, playing around with it, taking the opacity down, going to like, uh, you, know, you might try color burn, add some more depth into it. You can also even, uh, Go to uh, sketch, wait, no, stylize, and add some wind if you want. But as you see, that doesn't add the effect there because you're going to have to go to normal to see the wind effect. But actually, yeah, as you see right there, uh, that's pretty much how you make a chilling photo effect. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more tutorials. And uh, sorry about not doing voiceovers for all the people that were complaining about the, the porno music, which I thought was pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, stay tuned for a lot more tutorials from me, uh, GFXport. My name's Ryan, and uh, have a good day.